Hello and welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we are looking at a pencil and a pencil that is a bit of a mystery to me in that I can't remember where I got these pencils. I know it was a few years ago and I think I found them at either an office supply store or an art supply store, but I can't recall to be sure. Uh, it's all a blur, so many pencils, but as you can see that these pencils are unique in some ways. Well, they're Dixon Ticonderoga, so okay. That's not super unique, certainly. 1388 2HB, we've all seen that, perhaps. Uh, however, these have got a couple other things. One, they say USA on them. So these pencils were made in the United States whenever Dixon might have still been making pencils here. I don't know when they closed their last pencil making facility. Uh, perhaps one of you know, and you can help me if you know the answer, because uh, I do not. You'll also notice that these pencils have a UPC code on them. So that tells you that they were made for individual retail sale. And that is exactly how I bought them. They were loose. There was a little cup, a clear plastic cup. And these, they had a bunch of these and I grabbed two of them. Uh, and when I bought them, they both looked like this, pre-sharpened, but just with a very small little point. And of course, I couldn't wait to get it home and try it. So I've already sharpened this one pencil, you can see. But this is how it was in the store when I bought it. So here's a, a Dixon uh, Ticonderoga made in USA with the UPC code on it. And then, if all that wasn't fun enough, please note, these pencils are round. They are not hexagonal as is the typical Ticonderoga. These pencils are round. These pencils are standard size. Now Ticonderoga makes something called my first Ticonderoga, sort of these beginner pencils for young school children with round barrels, but they are a much wider barrel. They're like a jumbo sized pencil for the little hands learning to write. This is a standard sized round pencil uh, as you would find say with any other round barreled pencil. There aren't a lot of round barreled pencils but but um, it's just a, 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 a typical uh, size. You know, you see a lot of round barreled pencils in promotional pencils, uh, pencils that are for, you know, giveaways and have company names on them and things. A lot of those are often round. Uh, so this is just a standard round size Ticonderoga. I t I've tried to see if they're still making the Ticonderoga, the standard Ticonderoga in round, and I cannot find it anywhere. And so when Dixon moved their manufacturing to Mexico and China, I don't know if they're strictly doing uh, hexagonal uh, standard Ticonderogas or if they still make these round ones. I can't tell. But it's got, um, you know, it's got the classic Ticonderoga ferrule that appears to be glued on. And of course, when the pencil is round, the ferrule fits beautifully. You don't have those weird little gaps underneath because of the hexagonal barrel and the round ferrule. Um, pink eraser, 
there it is. And uh, I haven't written with this pencil since I got it. So we're going to get a piece of paper and write with it and see how it does. Okay, we have our round barreled Ticonderoga made in USA. Uh, I will tell you, this is a really comfortable pencil. Um, you know, it's, we're so used to, since most pencils, uh, especially here in the United States, are hexagonal, it's, it's nice to hold a round pencil. And, um, and it, the, the paint job on it is beautiful. And um, the wood on it really, let me get a, get a closer look really nice really nice and it sharpens very nicely I don't know how old this pencil is. If any of you do, uh, please share with me. I don't think it's, it's not super old. Uh, probably not even old enough to be considered vintage, but um, it's certainly an old issue pencil. Uh, the fact that we know it's stamped USA for one, um, but the style of it. But I will say, it's a really nice writing pencil. It's a smooth and quiet pencil. Now let's see how, well, we have a little bit of a smudge line here. It, uh, it is um, a soft pencil. It's a really, this is a true to form number two HB. And there you see the smudge. does have an eraser. It's probably, well, it actually, I thought it was going to be sort of dried out, uh, but it's not, not a, not a terrific job, but we, we don't have any expectations, but you know, decent. Uh, a lot of attached erasers do a far worse job than that, I'll tell you. Let's see how the Mars plastic good. Here's a Faber Castell. Okay. Gummy racer. Pink pearl. What else we got? Natural rubber eraser. 
and uh, a synthetic rubber eraser. Well, in terms of erasability, you know, pretty good. B plus. Let's uh, let's do some more writing with this. Come out a little bit here. Something um, familiar and nice about this pencil and the way that it writes. Mm-hmm, for sure. Very nice. Well, I remember now why I was so anxious to try this pencil when I got it. And I know that I'll not get any more of these because they don't, ex they don't make them. And there may be some floating around out there. I don't know if you happen across one pick it up because you will like this pencil. This American-made round-barreled Dixon Ticonderoga number 2 HB. Good pencil overall. It's a uh, it's uh, definitely a B plus A minus in my grade book and I will savor this pencil and use it for special things. So thank you and any information you have about this particular model of Ticonderoga I would love for you to share it with me and everybody else in the comments below. Uh, if you like what I do here please subscribe, like, share and I look forward to seeing you again 
real soon right here on Always Analog.